I do. I remember the day I finally had enough of this pandemic, and I'm guessing you all did too. I'm starting tonight with, yes, a little humor. This is, you know, your Mad Hatter from Disneyland. Sorry, it's corporate. I'm diverting a little. But I noticed something in myself and in businesses that I've been interviewing lately. And then, of course, I have the conversation with friends. And I think the second dimming in uh, California has kind of evoked a lot of depression, a lot of realization that we are in this for a long time. And so I just want to say whatever you need to get through it, just hang in there. We will do this when it is hard. And I want to also acknowledge those business owners who are out there working. It's, I mean, it's just incredible the stories I hear, how hard they're working to keep things going, making a fraction of what they used to. So tonight I want to start by talking about not what I'm drinking and wearing, which I'll get to, but my newsletter, because this is the best way I can communicate with you. I send it out weekly. I recap what I've been seeing, talking, you know, all the interviews are captured there. So you don't have to pay attention. And if you have a moment during the week when you want to kind of just check in with a, a variety of businesses that I interview or, or promote, then you have that all and your, um, in, in one place on the interview. So this is a printed out version of it, so it's not going to look too great, but it's, it gives you an idea. It's just my downtown NorCal Live, the faces and places you love. And um, then you just click on the interviews. And this week I did Cindy's Restaurant last Saturday. I did talk about that last Saturday, but then I also went to um, uh, Yolo Bar, and there's their little... Um, logo. <laughs> what a wonderful couple they are. I had not had the chance to visit with them. I, I always like to try to include a fitness studio because it's really an important thing to do. Watch them. You'll be very inspired by how hard they're working to keep it going. Same can be said for Zuma Poke, downtown Davis. They're a very well-loved couple and they really came out and said at this point they're feeling some survivor's guilt and that depression. So I think that you know, again, I always say small business owners are leaders, and they can lead us through that emotional piece as well that we're all going through. So check that one out. Bohem Hip Used Clothing. Um, I had a nice experience there. I did a little something different. I created a movie so that you can I go through the trading process and the shopping process, and we have different setups in the store where I interview Yelena and all the things she's working on. And then, of course, just for fun, I've been doing some... Stay home haikus, so I always do the one that's the most popular of that week, and I have a lot coming around where I'm just basically kind of being ridiculous in my own home and dressing in the fashion I would really love to dress in, but under shelter in place, we're not getting dressed up and going out, so I, I dress up and go to my laundry room. So anyway, in terms of shopping this week, I was very excited to go, oh, Newsletter. So go to my website, downtownnorcal.com, downtownnorcal.com, or through Facebook. You can direct message me and I will sign you up. It comes out every week and you can just delete it if you don't wish to have it that week. So it is something local. It's something uplifting. And, you know, I just think it's something else that we can watch while we're staying in place. So I went to the Avid Reader because I was really excited to be invited to two little kids' birthday parties. And I haven't been to kids' birthday parties in a long time. So this was really fun to go shopping at the Avid Reader Active, which, of course, everyone knows Avid Reader, bookstore, independent. Also, the Avid Reader Active has very nice toys. So one of them likes science experiments. This one's on bubbles, bubbles that you can hold. And then another um, child, so these are two brothers, loves sea animals. So look at this realistic looking sea turtle. I mean, I love, 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 love this. I hope he does too. He's two years old. And then, I mean, I don't know kids, I have to say. And one of them likes dinosaurs. So I found this very cute puppet. This will be going to him. You know, I mean, I think this is super fun to irritate your mom with, too. And I hope they don't watch one time, because they'll lose the, the excitement of their gifts. And then I really, the two-year-old loves crystals, so I picked up, and Avid Reader always has a very nice selection of crystals for kids. But, um, and they give the descriptions about what they are, too. 
So he calls these rock babies. I mean, how cute is that? Had to get him some rock babies. So that was my experience in Avid Reader. I have to tell you, there was one family in there when I arrived. They weren't there very long. And then I was all by myself. And I had the help of the store uh, personnel to, you know, of course, give the list of items that the kids like, those things that they prefer. And then together we picked out very nice options. They have hand sanitizer. There is all kinds of safety. Someone forgot to put on their mask. And of course the personnel were right on it. So I felt very good being an avid reader this week. So do check them out. Let's see, I'm gonna tell you what I'm drinking tonight. This is a blend, it's called Chaos Theory. And this is from, I've been doing a little tasting series with um, my own self-guided tasting a series with Brown Estate. It is the only black owned um, estate winery in Napa. And I really enjoy their, the way they title their wines. They have very clever names, but this is Chaos Theory, a 2018 red blend and it is yummy. We're going to be having some good food later, darling, yes? Yes. Barbecuing. Barbecue. Surf and turf. Mm -hmm. So I'm really going to love that. And then the last thing I want to tell you about is what I'm wearing. And that is, um, so it's time, people, to change up your style. I don't know if you've ever seen me in something like this. Can they see it? They can see you from the neck down. Oh, good. Okay, it's a long black skirt, a very loose kind of tee. So this is from Haven, a boutique. Rosemary caught me one day and she said, you have to try this. And I said, Rosemary, I'm usually very tailored. I don't do big flowy black, you know, long skirts. And she said, no, you really have to try it. And I love it because it's like I'm wearing a blanket around the house and the dogs can just get buried in it while I take a nap. And then this uh, tea is from, oh, speaking of dogs, hi, Raspy. This tea is from Jade Allen and Capitola. Again, very relaxed fit, but the waist in this skirt is elastic. And I have to say, one of the things I keep connected with, and if you go to my website, downtownnarkel.com, go to connectors, I put a lot of small business resources on that, but I also keep up with what people are buying and what producers are making. And there's a really interesting article that came out this last week about jeans kind of fading out as people are home and their waistlines are growing. I mean, mine is. People are more attracted to the pajama bottom feel. So a lot of elastic waists coming out. And so go ahead and read that article. Check out my website. It has pertinent information if you need support as a small business or you're just kind of curious what's going on with production. But I'm going to be doing a lot more relaxed races. Rosemary at Haven and Boutique says that she, that's exactly what she's going to be carrying as she's going through the fall and winter. So, oh, and this necklace, this is very cool. I bought this before Shelter in Place from Rosemary at Haven and Boutique. And this is just a little statement piece. It's made of upcycled tires. So tires that have lived their life, end up in landfill, but instead someone's making necklaces out of them. So I just had to have that, that was pretty cool. So that's all I have to talk about tonight, but I wanna just point out that again, another week of closures, it's getting really tough out there to stay afloat. So whatever you can do to support your small businesses, even if it's just remote, go ahead and again, FaceTime shop with them, check out their Instagram feeds, all the ways you can connect with your small businesses or have a neighbor go pick up something if you're not comfortable going yourself. I really wanted to give a special shout out to Davis Sports Shop, which closed its doors this week after many, many years serving the community. It breaks my heart because we've got so many cleats. Baseball, oh, sorry. <sighs> my adult son used to play baseball and that's where we got cleats. So, to all of you who closed, who may be closed, but you're still awesome. Cheers.